Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. And King of Floors, your vinyl, laminate, and engineered flooring superstore. It is Wednesday, and all of our guests today are sponsored by the O's marketing team at Royal LePage. They will find your next home in Nanaimo, Nanus Bay, Parksville, and Qualicum Beach. Find out more at wearerealestate.com. Earlier this week, we find out that uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins has agreed to an eight-year, $41 million extension to stay with the Edmonton Oilers. And Ryan is going to join us now. Ryan, thanks for doing this. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. No, no problem. I'm from Burnaby. My partner Rick here is from New West. He says you're from New West. I say you're from Burnaby. Can you set the record straight for us? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm from Burnaby. I'm a oh. Burnaby, uh, born and raised. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no connection to New West at all, right? Um, <clears throat> I've never lived in New West. My uh, my parents both live on the new west border but ah, technically still in burnaby so hmm. there you go there you there, go yeah. yeah yeah a lot of burnaby connection I, I think he drove through new west once so there you go <laughs> <Ryan>. <laughs> hey uh you were scheduled to become a ufa uh, uh ryan instead you signed the extension what were the factors and congratulations by the way what were the factors that <laughs> went into your uh decision thank you um well, I mean, the biggest one, obviously, was just that I wanted to stay in Edmonton. Um, I mean, it's been my home for 10 years now. And, um, I mean, my wife and I had tons of connections in Edmonton. And uh, we've really we've really loved playing there and uh, um, loved the way the fans have uh, treated us. So, I mean, if I could get something done in Edmonton, then that was my goal all the way along. And, and uh, we found a way to make it work. So I'm definitely uh, happy to have that happen. Uh, Ryan, you, you touched on what I'm about to ask you there, but maybe you could elaborate. We hear so many stories about National Hockey League players not wanting to play in hardcore uh, hockey Canadian cities like Edmonton. What is it about Edmonton that you like? That you like? Well, I think it's. Uh, I mean, it makes it a lot more fun when the, when the city is uh, behind you every game, and you know that they're passionate about uh, the team and. Um, I mean, we've got a little bit of a taste for it uh, for the playoffs in 2017 when um, when we beat San Jose in the first round and went to Game Seven in the uh, in uh, against Anaheim in the second round. And I mean, the fan base was just going crazy. They're so uh, so into it, and I mean, they just had we, we had so much support. And um, and then even this year, obviously, no fans in the building, but just the energy around the. Uh, around the city you could just you could just really feel it and um for me personally that makes me want to want to stay makes me want to play for uh, a team like that uh, with a fan base like that that uh, it just excites you to to go out there and win and uh, and get the the city all fired up behind you ryan i've got you as the longest serving member of the oilers you're 28 you finish this eight-year deal that's going to be 18 years in edmonton how about that yeah, pretty uh, pretty crazy. You never uh, you never know how it's going to turn out uh, when you're an 18 year old kid. But um, I was lucky enough to start when I was 18. So yeah, if I if I get to finish this contract in Edmonton, then uh, yeah, I guess that uh, that would place me up there. Okay, McDavid's 24. You're 28. Uh, Leon's 25. Nurse 26. You guys, if you can add properly here in the next little while, you think that core is ready to explode and take off? Yeah, I mean, we have tons of confidence uh, within our group, and um, <clears throat> obviously, we uh, we had a disappointing uh, playoffs with getting swept by uh, Winnipeg. But I mean, at the same time, every game went to or three games out of the four went to overtime, so we were just one goal away in each each of those games. But I mean, we're ready to take another step. We know it's not going to be easy. We know it's not just automatic that. Just because we want to win, we're going to win. It's going to be a, it's going to be a process. We're going to have to get into the playoffs again and, uh, and hopefully make a run and uh, see what happens. But I think if we just keep building on it, get playoff experience, and uh, and start just understanding what it's going to take to win, then I think we can uh, accomplish some great things. 
Ryan, players work hard all their lives to become UFAs, and then you got you could have potential. And you would have had a ton of teams after you. Absolutely, you would have. Uh, you know, even Seattle down the highway from uh, Vancouver uh, could have been. Uh, talk about avoiding free agency. Although it would have been, was it tempting though? Did you think about it? Well, I thought about it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> of course, I mean, you're uh, when you're a young player, you don't have a you don't really have that freedom to, to choose where you're going to go. But like I said before, it was, it was my goal to stay in Edmonton. And um, if we couldn't have worked something out, then I, uh, I mean, I probably would have waited and see what happens, but um, the way it just kind of worked out, I was happy to, happy to sign the other day and I'm just glad that we got something done. And um, now we can just move on and uh, focus on, and back to Edmonton and uh, getting uh, a winning team out there. We're talking with Ryan Nugent Hopkins of the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Ryan, uh, back to uh, 2017. What did your team have that year that it doesn't have right now? What, what's missing at this point? Um, well, I'd say there's a lot of similarities. I mean, it was a bit of a different team back then. We were um, we were a little bigger. We uh, um, I don't know. We played uh, a lot probably a little bit more physical game but I think when we were playing our best this year um, we were just a fast team where every line was was flying around and we had mm-hmm. five guys just on the same page on the ice six guys on the same page on the ice and um, so there were some similarities um, it's just obviously uh, it didn't work out for us in playoffs but once you get to playoffs it's uh, you don't know what can happen I think any the league is so competitive that um, even if you you place better in the regular season doesn't automatically <clears throat> automatically uh, guarantee that you you beat that team in playoffs. So um, there's some similarities to that team uh, in 2017, but um, yeah, I mean we we got to learn from what happened this year and and, and hopefully uh, build from it and get better fr- fr- from it. Hey Ryan, it looked like uh, Leon Dreisaitl and Connor McDavid were having a good time yesterday uh, during the awards presentation. But do, do you sense any uh, frustration uh, from those two right now? Um, well, there's frustration in uh, in in everybody when you don't yeah. win, and when you especially when you get uh, when you get swept like that in the first round after having a really good season. So I, I wouldn't say that uh, their frustration is any different than uh, the rest of the guys. It's uh, uh, you work all season to, to put yourself in a good spot, and um, when it ends that quickly, it's uh, it's disappointing. So, um, yeah, it's 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 tough, but you just got to regroup and uh, and have a good off season and come back better. What are they like as teammates, Ryan? That pair? Yeah, they're they're both great. I mean, Connor. Um, well, I, I've known Leon a couple of years longer. Obviously, he's been uh, he was drafted before Connor and. Um, he's really grown as, as a player, as a leader, um, as a person, and uh, I've been lucky to, to be able to see that happen. And same thing with Connor. He was, uh, I mean, he, he's given the captaincy at a young age, and that's, I mean, that's not an easy task. And he just really embraced it, and and didn't let his game be affected by by that pressure, by the expectations that being the the kind of player with the caliber of player that he is. Didn't let that uh, affect him, and um, yeah, same thing with him. He's grown as a as a person, as a leader, and uh, obviously as a hockey player. So they're both uh, great people, and uh, we're lucky to have them on the team. What's uh, just before we let you go, Ryan? What's uh, stood out for you when you watched the Stanley Cup playoffs and the Stanley Cup final? What's what's uh, caught your attention? Well, obviously the intensity is uh, <clears throat> is another step up from the regular season. It's um, Every shift matters, and I think one of the big things for me is that every little play matters. It always seems like a turnover here, a turnover there. Um, somebody's scoring, and that ends up being the game winner, or that ends up changing the pace of the game. So it's always it always comes down to those little plays. That's why the intensity is so high, because nobody wants to make those mistakes. Ryan, uh, congratulations again. Thanks so much for doing this. Thanks for setting the record straight regarding <laughs> Burnaby versus New West. And again, congrats, Ryan. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for having me. You bet. Yep.